All right, welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome to this channel. My name is BizLift and okay, this YouTube channel basically talks about advertising. We talk about Facebook adverts. We talk about business. We talk about how you can improve and grow your business with Facebook and Instagram advertising. So this video, we want to talk about something that quite a lot of people have issues with, right? It is disabled ad accounts disabled ad accounts here and there you know there are a lot of disabled ad accounts disabled pages we want to talk about what exactly causes this how you can resolve this and what you need to do to avoid i mean getting your account disabled now let's talk about first what are the different types of um things that can get disabled by facebook now you need to understand that facebook has a community guideline that you need to follow now you can check for Go on Facebook or you can just Google search to Facebook advertising guidelines and you can see and read about the Facebook advertising guidelines that you need to follow because these guidelines are quite a lot and sometimes it might not be easy for you to follow it or sometimes you might not even know that you're violating any of these guidelines, right? So you need to just take a glance and look at these guidelines and see exactly what you can start doing right so that you can avoid getting any of your assets disabled or your ad account disabled or even your business manager. Now, what are the things that can be disabled with your advertising? Number one is that your Facebook account itself can get restricted. So that one is a restriction, right? That's one. Your Facebook page can get disabled. Okay, that one cannot be restricted. It can get disabled. Okay, your Facebook business manager account can get restricted or disabled also. That's the third one. Now, your ad account can also get disabled. Now, sometimes when your ad account is disabled, sometimes you are able to open another ad account. Sometimes they tell you that because one of your ad accounts is in a bad standing or has issue, you might not be able to open another ad account. But sometimes you are able to still open another ad, ad account by creating another business manager account. Don't worry, we're going to touch the practical side of it. Don't worry. So these are some of the issues that you can actually have with Facebook. Now, sometimes when your page, when your Facebook page is disabled, you can easily just create another Facebook page, link that your face, new Facebook page to your existing Instagram page, and you're good to go. I had a client that had this issue and that what we, what we quickly did, pending the time that we're able to request for a review of that disabled page we we're able to create another page and then we linked that page to our instagram and then we continued running ads for her so, so sometimes when you have a disabled page you can easily just create another one link it to your instagram and you're good to go now when you have a restricted business manager account most likely you cannot do anything sometimes you are able to create another business manager account but sometimes it will not happen. They will tell you you are unable to create a business account, okay? Now, if your Facebook page or your Facebook account, rather, if your Facebook account is restricted, you cannot do anything again because you know that Facebook is the one that houses everything about advertising. So if your Facebook account is restricted, you will need to get another Facebook account. And in this case, you cannot use a new Facebook account. I see some people say, eh, my account was restricted. Now, I created a new account and I'm unable to create other account with it. New account cannot work for you. That is why Facebook will always tell you that they expect that you should have used the account for a while before you start creating adverts. So when you create a new account, you are unable to move on with that. So what I would advise is that you buy an existing account or you look for somebody that is close to you that can give you their old accounts. Maybe they are not using it for ads. You know, there are a lot of people that don't do ads. They don't have anything business. They just do Facebook normal. So you can actually ask around and see if you can find somebody who can release their accounts to you. Don't worry. None of their details will appear in your ads. No, it's just another way. It's just a second option for you to run ads without issues, okay? So these are some of the issues that can happen with disabled account, restricted page, all those things. These are the issues that can happen. Now, what causes these things to happen? Because some of you need to know so that you can avoid these things. Now, number one thing that causes it is when you are owing Facebook, avoid having 
one of your accounts in bad standing. Stop owing Facebook, stop owing Instagram money when you run your ads. Ensure that all your ad accounts do not have any debts. Sometimes when you have debts on your account and it is not resolved on time, you can easily get your ad account restricted, you can easily get your business manager restricted by, I mean, by having debts on your account, okay? Another thing is that you need to avoid sharing your login details with quite a lot of people because you don't know what those people are doing. Now, I tell people that when you want an advertiser to run ads for you, what you ought to do is that you need to ask the advertiser to give you their business manager ID. Every advertiser or everybody who run, runs ads on Facebook has a business manager ID. So that business manager ID, all you do is take that business manager ID and you give the person access. So the person can access your Instagram page and your Facebook page, which they basically need to run your ads for you. Once they can access this thing, I mean, it's easy for them to run the ads from wherever it is. They can use their own ad account to run the ads. The page will just appear under their pages and easily they will be able to run your ads for you and you can get results and you can remove them when the ad is done from your end or they can remove themselves. So this is the best way to do it so that you're, you're avoiding somebody else logging into your account because sometimes when people, don't, when people log into your account from a different location, this can also cause you issues because Facebook is sensitive when it comes to security issues, right? That's the second thing. Now, the final thing that most likely can also cause this issue for you or any restriction or any disabled account for you is when you do not turn on the two-factor authentication. Now, there's something called the two-factor authentication on your Facebook account and your Instagram account. Both of them needs to be turned on. Secure your account. Turn on two-factor authentication. You can use the authentication app or you can use your text so that they can send you a text message with your code. Please be security conscious. Sometimes when you don't do this, you get your Facebook account restricted. You get your ad account restricted because of this. Or your business manager can also be restricted because of this. Okay? So everything that I've explained, let's go practical now. Let me show you exactly what you need to do in case you have these issues. Or, I mean, what I explained with adding somebody using their business ID, their business manager ID. So let's go straight to my laptop. So... What you need to do is, first, how do you add somebody as a business, I mean, how do you add somebody using their business manager ID? Very simple. What you're going to do is that you're going to come to your business settings, right? Okay. So come to your business settings. I'm, I want to assume you know how to get to the business settings. Okay. You can click from, um, from here. You can just go to, you can come here and then come to all tools. You will come to settings here, okay? You would come to settings and you will see your business settings somewhere around here, okay? You see your business settings somewhere around here. If you don't find it, you can easily just go to uh, business support home first and then click all tools again. You see business settings here. Then you come to your business settings, okay? So now, how do you find your business manager ID? Or how does the, the person, the advertiser should know how to get their business manager ID? So basically, the business manager ID looks like this. When you come to business info, you can see it here, okay? I'm going to, of course, you're not going to be seeing it because I'm going to block it, but this is my business manager ID, right? This is my own business manager ID. It's a set of numbers. It's a set of numbers. You see it at the top here, business manager ID, okay? So that business manager ID, basically what you do is if the advertiser sends you their business manager ID, all you have to do is click on your Facebook page under account, see pages, you click on pages and then you click on your page, right? Click on your page and you click assign partners. So assign partners, then you assign partner by business ID. So you just paste the person that wants to run adverts for you, paste their business ID there, give them all, just turn on everything, okay? Turn on everything here, just come here, give them all the access they need, come to your Instagram page, your Instagram account, do the same thing, okay? You can come to your Instagram account, do the same thing, you will see um, assigned partners also, okay? You will see it here. It's not showing here because I need to log in. So assign partners. You do the same thing. Give them access. On that person's business settings, they will see your page, your Facebook page and your Instagram page listed under their business setting easily. 
So all they need to do is that they are able to run ads for you anytime, okay? So that's the first thing. Now, the next thing I want to show you is when you have a disabled ad account or a disabled page or a restricted business manager, how do you check it? Now, before now, the way we check this is something called the account quality. I've done a lot of videos in the past where I said, look for account quality, that is where. And a lot of people have messaged me saying, we're not seeing account quality. Where is the account quality? I'm not finding it. Now, Facebook has changed the name. It's no longer called account quality. It is now called business support home. Facebook keeps changing things. So it is now called business support home. So if you click business support home, it will take you here. This is business support home. If there's anything wrong with your account, this is where you will see it. So if it's a Facebook page that is restricted, all you can do is just request a review. And then they'll ask you to just maybe, most of the time if it's a Facebook page, they'll just ask you to tell, give them the reason or why they should reactivate the page. And you just tell them you didn't do anything wrong, blah, 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 blah. They should reactivate the page. And that's it. If it's a Facebook page that is restricted. Now, if it's an ad account that is restricted, you might need to submit your ID. You might need to submit your identity card, your official government identity card, say your driver's license, your international passport, or your voter's card. Sometimes your NIN, not the long sleep, but the NIN identity card. There's a card you can generate from the NIMC. If you're in Nigeria, there's a card you can generate from the NIMC uh, um, app. So you download the NIMC app, follow all the steps, and you can actually generate the, um, the NIMC card that you can use in case Facebook is asking to you to verify your identity. So you need to verify your identity if it's your ad account that is restricted. Once you upload the ID, they might also ask you to upload a selfie of yourself. Please do that. Upload the ID, then Facebook will get back to you within 48 hours. And they'll tell you whether they have agreed to lift the restriction or it's a permanent restriction. Two things, either they agree to it or they just disable it permanently. That is why I advise you when you are setting up your account, when your account does not have any issue, when you are setting up your ad account, create at least three ad accounts. Three ad accounts. Just in case anything could happen to one of your ad accounts, you could easily switch to the other ad account and you could still continue to run ads pending when you are able to resolve the ad account with the bad standing. So this is what you need to do. Same thing if it's your business manager account that was restricted, you might need to submit your ID. So I want to beg you, for you to increase the chance of you getting the restriction lifted, ensure that your Facebook account, your Facebook account, I said Facebook account, ensure your Facebook account has your picture clearly. Ensure it is your picture clearly. All those pictures where you see people you, um, doing makeup on, ensure it has your picture clearly that matches the ID you want to use, the government ID you want to use. Ensure the pictures are very close and your face is very close there. So ensure you put change your profile picture before you submit the ID for, for them to review. Ensure you change your profile picture to something clearer that shows your face well. Ensure the name matches your name on your ID. So all those accounts where you're using your nickname, let it be the name that is exactly on your ID. Once you have all these things done, you easily will get your account lifted. Okay? You will easily get the restriction lifted once you have all these things done. I hope you get everything that I've explained to you. I hope I've been helpful to you. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel in case you see this video and you're just joining this channel for the very first time or you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for returning i hope you enjoyed this video please leave a comment and let me know how this video helped you and what you want me to what videos you would like me to create next thank you so much and i'll see you in another video